Hey everyone, here's another VR locomotion concept I've been playing around with. So there are a lot of concepts that involve having robotic arms that move back and forth as you walk, or a track that has foot pads that run along the track. The general idea has been out there for a while, and it's been discussed several times in my Discord. I'd like to take a stab at making my own device based on this concept. The design I'm probably going to try out will look something like this miniature that I've very quickly put together. It's rough, so use your imagination while I explain it. It has two arms. Each arm has a shoulder, elbow, and wrist joint. Each arm consists of two segments. The user's feet go on the small rounded rectangles at the top. The device should let the user walk forward and backward, as shown here. With this little miniature, the segments are a fixed length. When I build the actual device, I think at least the lower segment is going to have some telescoping ability, allowing it to be a bit shorter or longer. The user should also be able to transition from walking forward and backward to sideways, as shown here. At times, the user's movement may be restricted. For example, when transitioning from strafing to walking forward, the user may be forced to swing his leg to the center in an arcing motion. The segment being able to telescope should help with this, but not eliminate it. I find this downside to be acceptable, at least for now. I think there will have to be a motor in the center for when the user turns, but my first attempt will try to make this the only motor. I'm going to try to minimize the number of motors to make it simpler and cheaper to build. For the first attempt, the arm segments will have bungees or springs that will help bring the arms back to their starting position in a way that avoids the arms ending up in an unrecoverable position. In this miniature, I use some rubber bands to roughly simulate this. Of course, later I can motorize everything if I want, especially if I want to simulate slopes and stairs. Now, for the foot pads, I'm going to have the user's foot coupled to the device at all times. The user will pull the device along. I'll be using the foot binding that I designed for my older, bigger, clunky motorized VR shoes. The binding allowed me to still lift my feet while I walked, while being coupled to the shoe that stayed on the ground. I have other thoughts about this device, and I've written them in an article on my Hack Day project. If you're interested in things like the materials that I'm going to use, how I'll strength test joints, and how this compares to similar devices, take a look there. I'm probably not going to work on this too much for the next few months, but I'm hoping after that I'll spend more time on the concept. See you next time.